All right, so today on Repairs 101, I've got a really cool one for you. I'm going to show you how to replace a missing seat or chair back by weaving rope, string, yarn, twine, whatever, into this really cool checkerboard pattern. All right, stick around. You're going to want to learn this one. So as I progressed into this project, I remembered all the details I'd forgotten, like leave enough slack in the warp because otherwise it gets so tight that you won't be able to finish it and you'll have to pull it all apart. You're going to need a couple of different size shuttles to wind your cord onto, and I made these out of eighth inch plywood. So just load up your shuttles by winding it around. Okay, so the warp is the underlying structure of the weave. Start by securing the cord with a clove hitch. If you don't know how to tie one, check out my video, 10 plus knots you want to know. Okay, so this is very important. At the beginning and end of every five turns, I wrap a crossbar to make a spacer row in the warp. Okay, so I learned this skill probably 25 years ago when I was an outpatient in the Workers' Compensation Hospital's Vocational Rehabilitation Program. So I made this one back then and gave it to my parents as a Christmas gift because back then um, I was pretty much penniless and to, <laughs> to tell you the truth, as soon as the uh, workers' compensation hospital was through with me, I was homeless too. Although, okay, not exactly homeless, I had this garage that I rented and um, in spite of the fact that I was living there and uh, I, I was months behind in my rent and uh, it was not zoned for residential use, the gentleman who owned the place, Don, he... Um, he was kind enough not to throw me out. Okay, so the point of my story is I come back to my garage from after working all day and I kick back on my workbench. And so I'm laying there on my back with a bag of day old donuts that I bought for $2 and I fell asleep eating them with the light on. And so a couple hours later I wake up and I open my eyes and perched here on my chest, right about here, is a big fat hairy rat about six or eight inches long and he's eating my donuts. Use your separator sticks to hold the warp apart in groups and pass the shuttle in between them. And yeah, you have to weave both sides for this to hold securely. Okay, so it's just a matter of passing the shuttle around through five times, wrapping the sixth as a spacer, and then continuing weaving five rows at a time opposite to the next five rows and separated by a wrapper on the crossbar. Now, as the space gets tighter, you'll be glad you heard what I said about making sure you weave the warp loosely. Switch to your smaller shuttles and smaller spacer sticks. For your last group of five, you probably only have room for a crochet hook. Then just take a few minutes to space all the cord out evenly. And maybe you want to give it a haircut if you bought the cheapest kind of twine available like I did. All right, and there you have it. It's a skill that's being lost to mechanization around the world. All right, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, please share it with your friends. And uh, I was real grateful that he trusted me that way, and of course I paid him up in full before I did move on. And, uh, and I thank him for trusting me to do that.